In this video I'd like to unveil my first discus launch glider that I've ever owned or built made of uh, experimental airlines techniques and I call it the Electron. As you know I'm fond of naming my airplanes after scientific and biological things and the Electron is the lightest of the three atomic particles and this indeed comes in at exactly 100 grams on the dot. This was constructed of a 6 uh, millimeter carbon fiber tube from Radical RC which is 30 inches long here, uh, trimmed slightly for that length. Uh, and is uh, slightly flexible but it's quite light and it is equipped with from the front to back uh, electronics including a uh, single cell lipo battery this is called a smart lipo from Hobby King and it has a voltage booster here which brings the voltage up to 5 volts uh, this is very light fits right on the front behind that is a spectrum uh, receiver and then behind that 3.7 gram uh, servos here the servos uh, actuate the rudder and elevator by means of a pull-pull system using eight-pound fishing line here uh, that are routed back through coffee stirrers, one under the wing, one mid uh, empennage here, uh, back to the rudder and elevator themselves. The wing is uh, 30 inches in span, it's constructed with a single former of a foam board there, no proper spar, and a small amount of dihedral has been built in by merely taping up the ends of the wing with a piece of uh, masking tape uh, for a few days like this so it's been bent up like that and it holds that shape fairly nicely although I predict I'm going to have to uh, store it with tape in place to kind of maintain that dihedral. The horizontal stabilizer and elevator here are mounted slightly above the fuselage tube here to allow a small amount of down going uh, motion just for arcing over at the top of the launch otherwise it has unlimited uh, upwards going motion uh, for whatever amount of up elevator I need and then the rudder is mounted to the uh, side of the fuselage tube facing the launcher so that if anything it tends to be snugged more tightly against the fuselage uh, tube upon launch and of course the rudder has uh, unlimited excursion left and right as it's located completely behind the end of the tube itself here. Both of these are mounted with corner guard uh, carefully bent and trimmed and then CA glued to the tube right there. I would be very happy to get 50 foot altitude and maybe a 30 second flight time which for a pure foam board uh, plane which costs about uh, $50 to build all up including the electronics I'd be pretty pleased with that. So let's have a look at a couple of the first flights of the Electron and see how it goes. I started with some gentle tosses just to see if the thing would fly at all. Here's the first really easy side toss just to make sure it wouldn't disintegrate. Bumper. Yeah. <laughs> now building up a little bit more force, getting about 20 foot altitude and 10 second flight times. So I did prove that it would fly, but equally proved that I suck at catching. Oh! <laughs> Is this magnetic? No, it's two side Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Foam tape wing mounting got tested time and again. About now I was starting to get some semi-legitimate DLG type launches. So 
now it's time to give it a real serious swing. As I do the walk of shame, I am pleased to know that a foam board DLG will actually fly somewhat and with some improvements might actually get some respectable flight times.